Hey guys, Chef Jason, your ace hardware grilling expert. Today's video is something I've wanted to do for a long time. That's right, we are gonna make jerky today on the big green egg. Now, we're gonna get our prep done first because this has to sit for at least 10 to 12 hours. So, let's dive in, let's talk ingredients, and then get our prep done. Okay, let's dig in here and start off with our ingredients. We're gonna start off with five pounds of beef top round. I had this sliced about a quarter inch thick. That is gonna make some amazing jerky for us. And then, you know, we have a lot of different rubs and seasonings available at your local Ace Hardware. And today I'm using my uh, Oink rub, which is one of my favorite barbecue rubs, and then that Ace exclusive Boom Shakalaka. That apple habanero barbecue sauce is really gonna add a nice touch to this. We have some uh, soy sauce next. I have a little bit of cola. That's going to help uh, just kind of break everything down and, and add to the wonderful flavor. I have some sesame oil, brown sugar, and then apple cider vinegar. Now, first thing we need to do is get in here and make this marinade. Then we'll cut the strips up into the bowl, and we're going to let this marinade today for about 12 hours before we head out to the egg. Time to add all of our ingredients to the bowl. I'm gonna start off and add that soy sauce first. Then we'll go ahead and add our brown sugar. Let that start to melt in a little bit. I'll pour in our cola as well. Get that added. Go ahead and put in our apple cider vinegar that sesame oil, and then we're gonna add the uh, boom, shakalaka. So we're gonna put about half of this bottle. It's a 19 ounce bottle, so we're gonna put about nine and a half or 10 ounces in here. That'll be enough for us. All right, we'll go ahead and get that added in there. It's gonna give us a little bit of sweet and heat. And then, like we said on the oink rub, I'm gonna start with about two to three tablespoons. So there's one. There's two and right about three. Now we'll go ahead and get in here and mix this all up. Get it ready to roll. We have our beef sitting out. Now what I'm going to do is cut these kind of into thirds. I want nice, smaller size pieces, if you will, because I want to be able to organize these nicely on the big green egg. So we'll set these guys aside and then we'll come in here and slice these into thirds as well. All right, next, we are gonna go ahead carefully and start lowering all of these separately, one by one into the bowl. We'll show you how we get that done. Get them all mixed up and ready to rock and roll. We've started adding our beef in there and what I like to do is kind of add it piece by piece because I want to make sure that they don't stick together in a clump and that everything has a chance to uh, pick up on some of that marinade. So we'll get that guy flipped over there and break that one apart and we'll keep adding the rest of these and I'm just kind of pushing down to make sure that I get everything in that jerky marinade and then once we're done we will go ahead and push down on this again like so, and then I'm gonna wrap it in plastic wrap. This will now go in the fridge for about 10 to 12 hours. Okay, after 12 hours of marinade time, I'm taking it out of the marinade, out of the bowl, and piling it up just so it can kind of drain a little bit while the big green egg heats up. So we're gonna let this sit here while we head outside, get the big green egg fired up for today's jerky making adventures. Now, before we get the big green egg started today, one of the things you also have to consider when you're making jerky is how do you want to flavor it? And as you can see here, I've got some hickory smoking chunks. Chunks are a great way to add some rich smoke flavor to your uh, jerky on your big green egg. But guess what? Today, we're using our all natural big green egg premium lump, which is oak and hickory flavored. So I'm going to let the charcoal do its thing. I'm going to let the charcoal flavor the jerky today, but always a great option if you want to add a different flavor or more flavor go with some of those smoking chunks. We went ahead and stirred off all of our charcoal and have it ready to go. Now I'm going to put one speedy light right down in the middle of this because I want to start things slow today. It's going to be important to remember that we're going to keep this temperature low. We don't want it to get over 200 degrees. So we'll go ahead and wait until that speedy light is out and then we'll show you the next step we take after that. Okay, you can see the fire starters out. Right down there, we've got a nice, beautiful ember pile. What we're gonna do is carefully cover this up. We're gonna adjust the top vent and the bottom vent now. And we're gonna hold this under 200 degrees before we get ready to add our convector. After about 15 minutes of warm up time, you can see we're hovering right under 200 degrees. It is now time to add our convector uh, and get things dialed in. 
So here we go, we'll go ahead and add our convector in there. I'm using the convector basket, which is part of my expander. I've got a brand new drip tray, grill grates are clean. Now, we're gonna shut this, we're gonna leave the top and bottom adjusted right where they are, and we're gonna wait for all the ceramic to heat up. We are hovering right about 190 degrees, which is great, the ceramic's all heated up. We'll go ahead and add the last amount of our beef in there. Now, I'm cooking on an extra large egg today, but if you have a large egg, one of the great things to add to that is the convector because that'll allow you to go vertical and have two layers to put your jerky on. So we're gonna go ahead and shut this. We're gonna keep an eye on this for the first hour because we wanna make sure that that temperature doesn't snuff or get too hot. Here we are right at the one hour mark and we are hovering just a tick under 200. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna adjust anything because I definitely don't wanna impact the temperature. So we're gonna leave everything as it is. We're gonna keep going just to tick under 200. I will not come back and check on this now until the four hour mark. So three hours to go. Time to check in. We're sitting right at the four hour mark and there you have it. Now, how do I check for doneness? I start to pull the jerky away and I wanna see it break cleanly. And I also wanna see some cook in there and maybe even a little bit of feathering, if you will, uh, of some of those muscle fiber strands. We are done. This looks absolutely perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and get this off and let it cool. We'll lay it, put it in a, a thin layer. We'll head into the kitchen and we'll let this cool off in the kitchen before we uh, give it our taste test. I tell you what, the flavor of the big green egg truly shines through on this jerky because I get that amazing oak, hickory, and charcoal coming through on that jerky. Four hours on the grill, we let it cool for about a half hour. The only thing left to do, devour this jerky. Oh, wait, wait, but first, stay tuned because coming up, if you're looking for more videos on how to cook indirect on your big green egg, stay tuned. I've got a great rib recipe coming up next. That's the piece right there, the one I've been waiting for.